hands where we can see them. I'm afraid that is the problem, sir. <laughs> I see you've been enjoying some Highland hospitality. And no doubt they left you penniless. Here, there's enough starving peasants as it is. Oh, I don't need it. Thank you. But they only robbed me of a purse full of stones. I switched the money. <laughs> Very canny. Uh, tell me, lad. to this. I had high hopes for you. We bring you civilization, you throw it back in our faces. We bring peace to the clans. And you skulk in the heather and murder us. Colonel McNabb, you're making a mistake. We haven't murdered anyone. Which way are they headed? I don't know what you're talking about. Alan Bray. It's a year since I've seen him. And what about the boy, the accomplice? Boy? What boy? Very touching. But they'll both see the wrong end of the gallows before I'm finished. Is that English justice? Hanging a boy? ask you once more, has Alan Breck been here? No. Arrest him. On what grounds? My trackers found this distinctive color, wouldn't you say? You can't just arrest me for that. No, you're right. We'll take your lands as well. They got away. There he is. Hiding in Queensbury. So the rat has come for the bait. What's this? Something on account. Clooney McPherson. I was told you were taller. <gasps> Gentlemen. As ever, your ruthlessness is a pleasure to behold. Nothing like a hang to focus the mind, don't you think? We all know that Alan Breck murdered Colin Campbell of Ganure. Or as the traitors amongst you may know him, the Red Fox. This man aided and abetted in that murder, which is why he will hang. But I'm not a cruel man. And I am prepared to show clemency. James can live if Alan Breck comes forward and takes his place. Don't listen to him! Don't listen to him! It's a sense if you come we know that Alan Breck is in Queen's Ferry. Somebody must be hiding him. 
Perhaps you know someone who's bought an extra loaf of bread, somebody who's cooked an extra meal. Maybe you've seen somebody behaving suspiciously. If you know where Alan Breck is hiding, you can save this man's life. What about Davy's lawyer? Aye, what about him? Look at this. It's beyond the law now. I'll ask one final time. Does anybody know where Alan Breck is hiding? I know something. Who's that? Mr. Rankila, I knew I could trust a man of your standing to do his duty. Perhaps I might trouble you for a word in private. The game's not over yet. Negotiate terms. Everything is negotiable. If you know the whereabouts of Alan Breck, it is your legal duty to tell me I could have you clap in irons. Don't tell me about the law, Colonel. You're about to hang an innocent man, and you know it. He's had no trial. The evidence is circumstantial. This is summary justice. It's a lynching. It has no basis in law. Now, I can deliver you a just solution. I can deliver you Alan Breck. But there are conditions. Why should I believe you? Because I'm an attorney at law. And because surely you'd rather be remembered as the colonel who brought Alan Breck to justice than the butcher who hanged an innocent man. You don't have to do this. I cannot stand by and see you hanged as a rebel. Especially as you're not one anymore. In my heart, I never stopped. full of rebel snipers. It's a trap. You have to go back. You. I know you. I'll have to stop meeting like this, Colonel. Kill him. Kill him! I'll take you alive, Brick. 